Live from San Francisco, celebrating 10 years of high-tech coverage, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2019. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. It is 10 years and going strong for the CUBE coverage here at VMworld, VMworld 2019. We were here 10 years back and uh, looking forward to the next 10 or more. We're at Moscone Center, North San Francisco, the Cube with Dave Vellante, John Walls. We're joined now by Tom Barcy, who's the Senior Vice President of Business Development at Carbon Black. And Tom, kind of a quiet couple of weeks for you, not much really going on um, uh, in all seriousness. Just though. a little bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> big purchase, VMware, I'm sure you're aware, uh, picking yeah. up Carbon Black, making that announcement you know, official this week. Uh, you were at the center of, of that, uh, uh, that discussion. So, if you would, kind of give us a little behind the scenes peek, behind the curtain, if we will, of how those talks developed and really maybe back to your relationship with VMware to begin with, because yeah, yeah. this goes back for a while. So needless to say, a, a, a super, a super exciting week and a culmination of a lot of work uh, amongst the, an army of people to get us to where we are. And, and obviously the announcement last week uh, around the acquisition of Carbon Black was huge, but I think the announcement this week in terms of going into uh, more detail that Sanjay and, and Pat went into in terms of combining uh, the best of breed infrastructure management with our best of breed uh, cloud native modern security platform with analytics combine that together, I think there is really an opportunity to transform the industry. And candidly, we've been working with uh, VMware uh, for well over two years. Uh, so two years ago, VMworld, we announced an, uh, an exclusive partnership uh, with, uh, with, with VMware, where we integrated uh, with uh, VMware's newly announced uh, App Defense product, which is really around securing cloud workloads. And obviously, they're in a unique position to secure workloads because of where they sit leveraging the infrastructure and knowing what's, what's, what's good and what should be running within those workloads. So they've leveraged that and built App Defense. And for the first time we built that integration, exclusive integration, and for the first time a security operations center has been able to have visibility into the hypervisor. So that's where we started to see the potential and the opportunity. And it also gave us an opportunity to really start to work closely with the VMware team, understand their culture, understand their community, understand their leadership, their commi commitment to winning, understanding their commitment to really sort of transforming security. And, um, and it just became, uh, you know, we dated and it became uh, just obvious that uh, there was so much synergy between our leadership and theirs and so much synergy in terms of our vision of, you know, securing the world from, making them safe from cyber attacks. And so it just made so much sense. So in Pat's words, it sure, sure it de-risked the, uh, the acquisition over a period of time, but it also allowed us to, to really work closely together, know what we're getting, getting into, and really getting super excited. So I can tell you the, the, the response from our employees has been overwhelming, and then the response here at uh, VMworld has been just amazing in terms of the traffic and partners and customers and, and all that. I asked Pat Gelsinger five years ago on theCUBE, is security broken? And he said, yeah, yeah. it's broken. And I was like, well, what are you going to do about it? You stay tuned. Well, I've been tuned. Yeah. Um, I did an analysis, uh, and this may, well, first of all, uh, uh, Patrick is going to take over as a, to run VMware's cloud security business. Correct. So when Pat Patrick has stated. Patrick Morley. Patrick, Patrick Morley. Yeah, Patrick yeah. Morley. Yeah. CEO of Carbon Black, and, and Pat Gelsinger has said, we want to be the cloud security company. Absolutely. Okay, so I love when he lays down aspirations like that. Now this may not be fair to you because you, you know, <laughs> We've been in the security. Well, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, but, yeah. but, but there's, a, there's a portfolio there you may not be as familiar with, but I'll ask you anyway, because you're going to have to become familiar with it soon. Yeah. So I did an analysis of the Carbon Black uh, acquisition. Obviously App Defense was in there, but if you look at the VMware security portfolio, NSX has a micro-segmentation use case. Yeah, obviously, AirWatch with you know uh, and user one. computing with Workspace One, uh, Cloud Corio, E8 security bracket, Intrinsic is another tuck-in acquisition that, that that VMware did. So wow, they're building up this portfolio. Can you help us understand how that's shaping out and where Carbon Black fits? Yeah, absolutely. So let, let's talk about uh, first uh, the opportunity here. Um, the opportunity is to to leverage uh, the uh, infrastructure management and security portfolio that, that VMware has, and then sprinkle in the carbon black portfolio capabilities across that infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, embedding it in NSX for network to endpoint visibility and control, embedding it in Workspace ONE, which we've already done, embedding it with, uh, integrating with App Defense, which we've already done, uh, the ability to do agent lists within vSphere, super, super powerful. Uh, Post-close, we'll be working on things like that. So, 
basically by integrating it across that portfolio, uh, you really have the, the ability to, to, to transform the, the, the entire security space, and I'll talk about that in a second. But what that means is, basically by embedding security across that infrastructure management and, and, and eliminating a lot of the complexity and the overhead and the bloat, you're, you're, you're coming up with basically intrinsic security. Mm -hmm. And what, you know, the best thing from a human perspective to, to, to increase your, your, your immune system is, you know, is, 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 is uh, or staying healthy is, is boosting your immune system. Mm -hmm. And the, the best way, reason we're doing this, the best, best way to secure an enterprise is to integrate, embed security into the actual infrastructure and take the benefits of, of infrastructure management with security, combine it, and eliminate all that complexity. So let's talk just a second about being broken. It's hard from a security guy coming in saying the industry's broken, I will tell you that. But the truth is, it needs to be transformed. There's just no question about it. So let's talk about just from an endpoint perspective and then we'll get into the whole opportunity to, to extend that capability. Right. But you look at the endpoint, uh, from an enterprise customer perspective, it's well documented that you know, legacy AV was built 20 years ago and not built for the modern uh, attack vector. So it's well documented that yes, customers still have legacy AV. It's not, uh, you know, it's 35% effective. So what have customers done? They've gone and deployed EDR, endpoint detection and response, which is what Carbon Black historically has been a, a market leader, hands down market leader in the space in terms of adding EDR, yet another sensor. Then you want to have the ability to say, look, we got workloads, and there's another sensor for that. Then you want to talk about, hey, vulnerabilities are coming out, and we want to be able to query across the, the, the fleet to understand what vulnerabilities are in your environment. Tanium-like, right? There's a sensor for that. So you know, about two and a half years ago, our customers came back to us and said, look, we love you guys, what you guys are doing, but there's too many sensors on the, on the endpoint bloating and slowing my systems, and my, my, my security team's getting fatigued with all, this, all, these, all these point tools. They said, we need a, a, an integrated approach in comes the Carbon Black Cloud. And that's where we have the ability to integrate multiple services. NG, next gen antivirus, EDR, Live Ops, the ability to query across. Mm -hmm. We've integrated AppD for work, cloud workload. All those are shipping today. All those services on a single soft, uh, lightweight sensor and a, and a modern cloud native uh, SaaS mm -hmm. back in with, the, with analytics. So it's just super powerful. And so now you're consolidating on that, you're getting more efficient, you're limiting overhead, and you're making the security operations team that much more effective. Now, imagine taking that approach to the broken network and workload and mm -hmm. et cetera, and extending that capability across the entire infrastructure. And that really is what we're talking about in terms of teaming with, with, uh, with VMware, embedding our security ca capabilities across the infrastructure, a lot, across the NSX, into vSphere, into work AppD, into Workspace ONE, which we're already doing, and again, eliminating a lot of that bloat and making our customers more secure and much more efficient. So there's another dimension to this acquisition, which, which I like, which is your SaaS business. So I think it's about 38% of your revenue, I call it roughly 40% of your revenue, but growing very, very rapidly, rapidly. probably growing at 70% a year. Exactly. So uh, VMware has said that this acquisition, along with Pivotal, is going to add a billion dollars in basically mostly or all subscription revenue next year, three billion in year two. Uh, and it's going to be an accretive and cash flow positive acquisition in, in by year two. So all you know, very, VMware executes well generally on, ac on acquisitions, and so notwithstanding some weird stuff in the, uh, the economy, uh, they usually hit their targets. Yes. You know, they tend to be conservative, so I really like that. Um, and it, that's clearly the direction you're moving. The other thing about this, a lot of people you know, on, on Wall Street said, wow, this may be overpaid for the stock, but I want to get your opinion, because you're out competing every day, um, and CrowdStrike is obviously the comparison they use. Okay, this is a company that has a 16, 17 billion dollar valuation. Your yeah. valuation was 2.7 billion. You look at CrowdStrike's uh, post-IPO stock chart, it looks like a bathtub. You know, it kind of goes like this, <laughs> yeah. like this, and then goes like that, because people start to realize, wow, this asset actually has you know, a lot of intrinsic value, no pun intended. So, in comparing CrowdStrike with Carbon Black in terms of feature, function, capabilities, you know, execution ethos, technology, is there really that much of a difference, 16 billion to 2.7 billion? Uh, uh, you know, I can't really comment on, on CrowdStrike's market cap. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I, I respect them uh, as a competitor. Great. Don't Great have to job. like them, but I respect them as a competitor, no question. But in terms of the function and the capability, you're all the competing with them every day. In terms of the, uh, the functionality, uh, look, we have significantly closed the gap uh, and you know, adding cloud workload capability with AppD, adding the query capability with live ops, uh, and extending that capability. So in from a feature functionality, look at VMware is technology driven, 
they kick tires and they do their diligence on technology. That's the strength of VMware. So they look deep and what they came away with was we have a super competitive platform. You're seeing it in our wins and our growth rate. You're seeing it with our wins and large customers that I can't really name. Uh, so from a, from a feature functionality perspective, you know, we're at par in, in many ways we think we're, we're better. And now, uh, now if you look at where this market's going, look, CrowdStrike's going to be a great point product solution for endpoint. But we believe, and they're going to do phenomenally well, but we believe there's an opportunity here to, again, to integrate infrastructure management that VMware has in our security capability and deliver an end-to-end -end platform and truly transform across the entire infrastructure of an enterprise. So that's really where we see the opportunity and, and the opportunity for growth. And then when you want to look at our growth rate, I mean, to your point, uh, VMware does an incredible, credible job and you, know, you start to talk about the reach of VMware and then you talk about the reach of Dell EMC and it's, uh, it's super exciting. Yeah, the, the VMware Brain Trust is very capable, uh, both from a strategy standpoint and, and a technical, you know, like strong, very strong engineering culture. Yeah. And you saw this with AirWatch. So AirWatch, when, when, when VMware acquired AirWatch, VMware was struggling in the, what was then the VDI business, and AirWatch wasn't you know, number one in the marketplace, but VMware like, now crushes Citrix in that space. There's, people are making similar analogies with uh, with regard to carbon black, do you think that that's fair? I mean, can you you think you can repeat that sort of I, momentum? Yeah, uh, you, you know, I've obviously been very very close to this relationship, and I've been sort of the f number one fan and cheerleader of this partnership uh, because I I just believe in my soul that it's going to be you know transformative. It really is. So uh, to that point, I you know I think uh, and I've talked about it internally what they've done with Nicira, what what they've done with AirWatch, uh, now Workspace One, and the ability to take a, a business from either no revenues or a couple hundred million and take them to two billion. Uh, I absolutely believe that we will see the same. It's going to take a lot of work. Um, but we're going to see the same trajectory. I mean, they're, they're maniacally focused on, if there are gaps, they're going to resource it in terms of product gaps or anything to accelerate the roadmap to, 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 to allow us to win. And then you're going to talk about the, the triple acceleration with VMware and EM, Dell EMC. So uh, to, to answer, a long winded answer to say, uh, I truly, truly believe that we can take our position as number two and really be number one. And, and, you, and transformative in a, a significant way, a significant word yeah. to use. What, what's that end product going to be then that makes you look at it from this visionary standpoint and think, yeah, th this, is, this is a perfect marriage. This is a fantastic opportunity. Because well, you're not, you're, you're, yeah. you're selling hard. Yeah, well, well and yeah. it's a platform, really. Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is it, look, of, it's yeah. a platform, and at, at the end of the day, what's, what, we, what we're focused on here is customers. We're, we're, we're talking about, you know, what is, how do we protect our customers? And the best way to protect those customers uh, is to, and to embed, the, embed the capability. You know, when we did many years back with Carbon Black, we exposed our data and, and many of our partners that sometimes we compete with, with whether it be Palo Alto or Cisco or FireEye or a number of other players, because customers demand uh, the end-to-end -end visibility from network to endpoint. And can you imagine the kind of telemetry when you integrate Carbon Black in our, in our modern cloud and platform and our analytics and the ability to pull data from the hypervisor, the ability to pull data from NSX, the, ab the ability to pull data from Workspace ONE into a common console, and then understand exactly what's happening uh, from, a, from an attack perspective. And then let's talk about, okay, so now, now you have a, this visibility, this 360 degree view of what's happening in your network, and now you want to talk about uh, the ability to orchestrate and remediate, like solve the problem. Well, historically it's been the security operations center over here, and you got IT over there, and there's been this friction because the SecOps guys are saying, take it down, take the server down, there's a problem, and the, and the IT ops guys are saying, hey, I got, I got runtime, I got to keep it up. So now you have the opportunity, again, to leverage that management to identify a threat, and then the ability to just seamlessly leverage uh, VMware's infrastructure management tools to j instantly remediate and, and, and orchestrate a, a problem without the, f the conflict with IT and security operations. So we actually see an opportunity to eliminate that friction and create collaboration between those two. Yeah, and, and security is broken. It is a do-over. And you know, we talk to the SecOps teams and they'll tell you, you know, we, we're fighting every day where bombs are dropping. We, we have to succeed every day. The bad guy only has to succeed, succeed once. And, once. And so yeah, they bring in all these tools and a lot of times they don't work together and it's just, they have a very hard time trying to figure out, okay, what do we prioritize on? And obviously analytics is helping that, but you know, you see the stats of after, after you get in, infiltrated, it takes whatever, 300 days, 250 days to even you know, identify that you've been infiltrated and it's just a very complex environment. So the do-over is a platform that gives you end-to-end -end visibility yeah. and doesn't force you to learn different point tools and has a comprehensive 
you know, view of your That's right. infrastructure. That's right, and, and I, I, do want, I also want to point out, it, you know, it, it doesn't mean that we're going to create this platform that, that's closed. A lot of competitors uh, like to build closed platforms and go end to end, and Carbon Black has always been API driven, like open. And the whole point of this openness is to, we collect this powerful endpoint data, mm. and we want to expose that data across the infrastructure, so we're, we're exposing it to the network security guys, whether it be Vectra or, or Palo Alto Networks or FireEye, uh, Mandiant, depending on who it is. We're exposing the data to Splunk and IBM Q Radar and IBM Resilient, and we're going to continue to do that. We're going to leverage this platform and all this powerful telemetry, and we're going to continue to have this open platform and, and, and continue to work across the industry to make sure it's not just our platform that's end-to-end, -end, but it's just a, across the ecosystem. Well, it's something always, VMware's always been strong. If there's heterogeneity, you know, they, they help you know, balance the, the scorecard, so. Yeah. It's been a, um, I, I, well that'd be an understatement to say it's been an exciting week for you. It's <laughs> yeah. been a great two years, it sounds like, yeah. uh, and we wish you uh, success. Not only this week, but you know, on down the road, like you said, a lot of hard work still ahead of you. Absolutely, so congratulations on 10 years. I look forward to being here in year 20. All it's right, that's, anniversary. All right. that's awesome, that's All what right. Michael said. We'll, we'll be you. right back. All right, thank we'll you. We'll be right back in just a bit. <laughs> Taking a break here on theCUBE. We're at VMworld 2019, Moscone Center, San Francisco.